going to spend a few minutes with you having a conversation, talking about something that is very important to me in my life and hopefully important to you. And that's the idea of the democracy that we are privileged to live in. The Chinese have an expression, may you live in interesting times. Certainly, we live in interesting times, extraordinary times. I want to talk with you about something that I deeply believe in, that I've committed 40 years of my life to, and now continuing in this new paradigm I find myself in, the private sector, working with Altegrity Risk International, the concept that cops count, police matter. Importance of policing in our rule of law, form of government, in our democracy, dealing with crime, dealing with counterterrorism, and now in the world we live in where there is so much in terms of the issue of terrorism and insurgency around the world. How policing needs to be an essential element of the United States effort to move successfully into these emerging nations that are seeking our assistance to ensure that the mistakes that we made are not repeated, to ensure that our successes can be modified to different cultures, different forms of government. But we also needed to focus more of our resources on the prevention of crime. And we also needed to focus our resources on the cause of crime. And what is the cause of crime? The cause of crime is behavior, human behavior, individual or collective, criminal or criminal acts that are unintentional, crimes of emotion, crimes of passion, human behavior. In our democratic society, our democratic form of government, the idea is that we the police exist to enforce the rules of law. The challenge for us here in the United States and the challenge more for us in these emerging democracies that we are now going to seek to help is to do it constitutionally, legally, to do it compassionately, human being to human being, to do it consistently, city after city. New York City, today, 21 straight years of crime decline. Overall crime in New York City is down around 75 percent. My most recent city, Los Angeles, over the last seven years, homicides down by about 58 percent, overall serious crime down by 54 percent. Partnership, problem solving, focus on prevention, optimism, accountability systems. We are going to take American systems, technology, resources, personnel, and we are going to help these emerging nations to become democracies. We are going to try to ensure for them what is ensured for us, freedom from fear, a life relatively free from crime. But to do that successfully, we need to learn from the 70s, the 80s, the 90s, in these first 10 years of the 21st century. The State Department, Department of Defense, all the various entities that are seeking to secure our safety by making all these other countries that are emerging from these terrible conflicts and civil wars that have been engaged in, to make them secure. Because their security ultimately will benefit our security. It's all about partnership and that the world I spent so much of my time in, the world of policing is an essential element of that partnership. That as we engage in Afghanistan, as we engage in Iraq, even as we exit, that we're going to have to find new partnerships with the military. The military which seeks to go in and fight a war, the military that will seek to fight insurgency, is also going to have to find new ways, as we in policing had to find new ways in the 90s to deal with the seemingly intractable problems of crime in the 70s and 80s. One of the things I would advocate is that there is much to learn from local policing to deal with insurgency, to deal with trying to create rule of law, criminal justice systems, judges, lawyers, police, corrections. How can we turn this situation around? I would advocate we learn from the past to shape the future. We need to involve policing in a much more significant way. Not just contractors at a very low level, but engaging American police leadership, major city chiefs, IACP, in a way that has not been done in the past. And what we are advocating is that we become more essential partners in the efforts of this government overseas, on our borders, 
to deal with those issues. And if we don't succeed there, we contribute to the instability of our own country. I would advocate, and I will continue to in my new capacity, in the company that I'm with, Altegrity Risk International, working with our colleagues in USIS, as we seek to continue our involvement in these efforts overseas, to learn from the past, the failures and the successes. And the successes are around the idea of partnership, seamless partnership, around the idea of use of technology, around the idea of accountability systems.